everyone in Santa Rosa County, this is Aaron Little with the Santa Rosa Press Gazette and I am here at, you can see, Jay High School, home of the Royals. And I am here with English and creative writing teacher Stacy Collins and her husband. I am so sorry I forgot your first name. David. David, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. I apologize. Um, anyway, so why are we here today? Um, well, my school decided to put on an assembly for my citizenship ceremony that I'm doing tomorrow. And I somehow put everything together without me knowing. Um, I came together to celebrate that I will be an American citizen as of tomorrow. That is exciting. So, all right, so give me a bit of backstory then. So where, where are you actually from then? I'm actually from England. Oh, wow. Um, my parents moved here. Uh, they came here on a honeymoon, I guess you could say. Oh, wow, okay. Um, and they dreamed of coming here and living, and they used to talk about it all the time. Um, and eventually they just made that happen. Okay. And so we moved here when I was um, a teenager and it's taken until now to finally get through the whole process. Wow. So what, okay, so if you, if you would help us for the, for the folks at home watching, what exactly was the process that you had to go through? Um, I had to live here for 10 years. I had a green wow. card. Okay. So I'm legal. All right. <laughs> so I had my green card um, and we had to get fingerprinted and wow. um, interviewed and all of that. Um, when I started the process, I had to, it was quite expensive to do, wow. had to fill out, I think, 20 pages on the application and then wait for the application to go through, get fingerprinted. Um, I had to study for the naturalization test, mm. which they give you 100 questions to study and you have to get six of them right when wow. you go and test with them. And so that was really intimidating, but I got that. Um, and then I was just waiting for my date where I uh, take the oath and swear in and become a citizen. So that's been a long, a long journey. Excellent, thank you so much. And okay, so tell me about the, uh, the, the test. That sounds intimidating. <laughs> it was. Um, basically, it's, uh, they have, it's part of it's a writing test, which I'm an English teacher, so <laughs> that's not a worry for me. Um, part of it was a speaking test, I think, or a reading test. It was speaking. Um, and then the part that I was really worried about was the civics test, which was a whole bunch of, it was a hundred questions, but I only got asked six of them. Wow. And it was an oral test, and I don't like oral tests. Ah. I prefer to write the answers down. Understood. Okay, so what sort of questions did you have to memorize? Um, one of them was like, how, um, how many amendments are there? Okay. Um, it's like constitutional questions and government questions. There was some geography questions, wow. like what are the two longest rivers in the United States, I think. Um, and then they ask a lot of questions about people, like hmm. historical people and who they are and what they do. Um, it was a lot to take in. Current so, representatives. Oh, current representatives, yes. Wow, okay. How, how do you feel now that you've had to go through memorizing all of that? to get into the country compared to maybe, you yeah. know... Well, like, I speak English, so... Sure. Because I came from England, so for me, I feel like it was significantly easier than for someone that came from a non-English speaking country and has had to learn English and go through the process. Right. So I definitely have a lot more respect for those people. Certainly. Um, and then I just never had any idea how long the process would be. Gotcha. So I'm okay. glad it's over, or well, almost over, and <laughs> I get to be a citizen. Fantastic. Okay, so tell me what was what what were sort of the main, maybe the main differences, you know, while you were having while you had your green card versus you know what having full citizenship. Like, did it make anything, I don't know, more more difficult in sort of your day to day or um, or anything yes. you had to apply for, anything like that? I don't think maybe not day to day, but applying for jobs was extra steps. Um, applying for college when I went there, oh, extra wow. steps, high school, extra steps, scholarships, extra steps. Wow. Everything has been more than the person sitting next to me, it seemed like. There was oh, okay. always more documentation, more paperwork to do. Understood, gotcha. And so how, how long have, have y'all been married, if I may ask? Uh, we're coming up on seven or eight. Uh, together, but <laughs> oh. three years married. Fantastic. So how, how has this whole process um, been a part of your relationship, if I may ask? Uh, it's, been, it's been a little bit crazy just going, like having to drive all the way to New Orleans for fingerprints. Wow. You know, having to drive all the way up to Birmingham to do the test. You oh, know, late. Extensive periods of wait time in between. Uh, you know, but I, I think it's definitely helped, you know, with me being here. I don't think, I think she would have a lot harder time just getting everything done. I need the extra help sometimes. 
<laughs> the support has been nice, and I have so much of it from him, um, from my family, from everybody at the school that was just in here. Um, my students are really sweet Aww. about it. Fantastic. So what, what did you feel after, after going through the, uh, the surprise ceremony that you had this morning? <laughs> I was so nervous. I knew something was going on mm -hmm. because everybody was wearing red, white, and blue. And I wasn't, and I, it wasn't a dress-up day, and I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And I'm texting him, like, oh, I don't know what's happening, I'm scared. But it was, it was nice, um, and it was just really sweet to see that everybody just came together and they care so much. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you all so much. Congratulations once again. Thank you. And uh, thanks for your time.